Welcome to the pre-algebra course. My name is Derek Owens and I'll be the teacher for this class and I'll be taking you step by step through the material that constitutes a course in pre-algebra. And my goal is to make this a pretty thorough course. If you finish this entire course, you should be very well prepared for a course in algebra, which is typically considered the first high school algebra course. So this would be your last class before high school math. Uh, this class is normally taken by people in the 7th or 8th grade. And um, more, more and more commonly, this is done in 7th grade. It used to be commonly done in 8th grade. But 7th or 8th grade is appropriate for this class. Someone taking this class in 9th grade might be just a little bit behind, or someone taking this class in 6th grade would be a good bit ahead. But this is mainly designed as the last course before high school algebra. Now, I'll say a, a little bit about how the class works you should have some printed notes on a page on a piece of paper and they should look something like this and what these are are my lecture notes with a lot of stuff deleted you'll notice that there's a lot of blank space on the page and as I teach you take this paper and you physically write as you watch the lecture and listen to the lecture you write on the paper and take notes on the paper and fill in the blank space so that your notes end up looking something like mine the completed lecture notes and the reason we do this is mainly because it's effective I've been teaching um, several classes this way for several years now and it's worked really well the students have liked it it helps you learn it helps you pay attention it helps you keep track of what um, what we're covering and you learn not just by listening to the lecture and watching it but also by writing it down the act of writing it down helps you think it through in a different way and helps you learn it better and that of course is the goal to learn this material so if you don't have these printed notes uh, the best thing to do would be to go get them right now and print them out if you need to and um, and then get a, a clipboard or something that you can write on and hold those and get a good pencil and then we'll pick up the, the at the beginning here section 1-1 at the beginning of the next video